Broke boys, welcome to today's video. And I'm gonna be eating more shit from around the world. I need to get through these. I nibbled on some of them during like really late recording sessions. This one's from Portugal, but it's already been nibbled at while recording super late with uh, Evan. I, I can't, I can't lie. So some of the jelly stuff is missing. We're gonna be eating some shit from Czech Republic and Portugal, Portugal. I ate a lot of the Portuguese shit. Not gonna lie, the Portuguese stuff was good. <laughs> but I have a lot of Czech, Re uh, Czech Republic stuff, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do that. We are going to be eating some Portuguese and Czech Republican shit. It's, a lot of it is crisps, uh, because I don't normally eat that, because I don't trust it. There's some tart. Okay, so let's start with Portugal. Now, I love Portugal. Portugal, probably one of my most favorite holiday destinations. I love going to the Algarve. Uh... Lisbon in general, beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, very fond of Portugal. I will tell you everything I already ate. The jelly bananas, I couldn't resist. I couldn't wait. Jelly bananas, probably one of my favorite things as a kid. Anything but banana flavored. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I also ate this bacon. So that's jammin, jammin. Like it's like ga it's gammon basically. It's like a, it's like a very posh uh, bacon. Uh, very nice. I ate those ruffles. Uh, I ate that choco max. Again, that was late night with Evan. I just, I needed something, and I just, I ate the Choco Max, not gonna lie. Uh, I ate them. They were gone. Those, those, uh, spaghetti jelly things. Harry Boat. Gone. Here we go. Uh, I've never bought a pack of Cheetos in my life. Uh, Pan, Pandia fa Fantasmos. Any Brazilians? What the, what's, uh, pa Pandia Fantasmos? Fantastic Pandas? No, ghosts? <laughs> what? Oh no, they're- I thought they're- <laughs> what, what- what does that say? Uh, uh, fantastic, uh, something? Che- what, what- what is it? Ghost gang? Ghost gang? Ghost peppers. Oh, no! No, no, it's not spicy. It looks like just cheese. Okay, down the hatch. I don't get, I don't get it. I don't get why people eat cheese. I know I keep eating more, but I need, it just tastes like a sock. Ugh. I've never understood Cheetos. Cheesy balls, stuff like that. I've never understood them, never. People always, when I was on holiday in Spain and Portugal, especially in Spain, these are everywhere. Cheetos are everywhere. People love Cheetos. I just don't get it. I've never understood. Ugh. Why the fuck is this still a thing? Two out of 10. All right, moving on to another thing I absolutely adore, fruit. <laughs> these are pear flavored crisps. No, these are dried pears. Dehydrated dried out pear. Lene is about to be astonished at my bravery. She has never seen me eat fruit in my- Wow, these look like rotten plantains. These look, do you know what these look like? Something from The Last of Us. This looks like some kind of mushroom shit from The Last of Us TV series. Is there a fungus? Am I about to die? Okay, well, uh, bottoms up to Oi Amigo uh, Portugal. Oh. I got that box last week and I liked the Choco Bar and Ruffles. Oh. Waiting to enjoy the other snacks. No, you won't enjoy them. You won't enjoy them. I need one. I need one. Oh, oh. 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 just got a big lump of pear just hit my tonsil thing on the top of my mouth, just made me gag. Ah. <laughs> Negative four out of ten. Do not, do not dry fruit. Stop it. Okay. Okay. Let's get through the crisps. Let's get through the crisps. Uh, Ryan Bank may be down, but his syndrome is up. One thing I will say. 65 cents? I noticed the Cheetos. 50 cents? What the fuck? In Ireland, this would be like 2 euro. I'm not kidding. The inflation in Ireland. And these are within 2024. Best before date. Portugal. 
Man, you guys are keeping prices decent. 65 cent for a packet of crisps. Over a euro something in Ireland, for sure. A euro 20, I'd say, realistically, for this in in, uh, in Ireland. Okay, so uh, these are called Baca, Baca Bits. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, uh, Cortezas de Trigo. Snacks de Trigo. What... what does this give me any, any indication as to what this could be? Is this, they just look like corn? Just wheat? I, I saw I'm kind of right. They're just like corn kind of puffs. Trigo means wheat. Oh, it is wheat. It tastes like a, a, a digestive biscuit, kind of. It tastes like one of those biscuits I have with a cup of tea. But in a fluffy puff form. Um... No, Portugal, I'm not gonna lie, I've hated every single crisp from Portugal. It's corn, it, corn is, or wheat, or, it, wheat, it, no, it's wheat. It's wheat, and wheat does not belong in crisp form at all. It's a biscuit, it needs to be denser. Little thing of chocolate on the top. No. That, that does not work in my brain. Three out of ten. Actually, no, two oh. out of ten. Tastes like, it is not right. Oh, and we've got to go to the Czech Republic. I feel like I'm I show speed of 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 candy. I'm going I'm doing a tour around Europe since so I'm just eating the shit. Uh, okay, now this is my favorite word. I am excited though for this one. Uh, it could be nuts. Brian is now realizing why they're cheap. Yes, because they're using some very low cost uh, products and not much flavor. Yeah, just leftover wheat. Uh, okay, so this is, I'm guessing is, this looks like, uh, new, nougat. You say nougat in, in America. In Europe, we pronounce it nougat. Calm down. I know what you're thinking. Put the pitchforks away. We say nougat. That's how we pronounce it. You say nougat. Okay, relax. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, hey, no, no, wait, 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 Bottoms up. I'm guessing this is peanut. Uh, I'm, I, I think I am allergic to cashew nuts, so hopefully I don't die. Banging views. If I do, this would be a great... I, at least I'll get some good ad rev. It's, it's peanut. You know what? It's okay, it's peanut. I prefer peanuts when they're like dry roasted. Man, I'm not going to be able to live in Portugal. Yeah, that's very peanutty. There's not even much N-word involved in that. No, heavy on the peanut. Very weak on the new ga. I don't get why people love peanut butter. Never understood the peanut dense flavor. Oh, and dry roasted peanuts. Mm. Pronounce the T. The T is silent. The T is silent. Look it up. Just look it up. A quick Google search. How... How do you, uh, pronunciation of and spell it and you'll hear you'll hear exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced Man, this has been a bad bad time for Portugal now if I showed the bananas and all the jelly stuff top tier I'm not kidding the Haribo and the the, je the jelly bananas and all the, the other stuff that I had from Portugal Fantastic the stuff I left behind I'm I made some very smart decisions as to what not to try I'm actually kind of excited about this one so, these are little tartlets. Um, I have a weird feeling these are going to be like strawberry, strawberry um, fig rolls. It, I'm looking at the the material, I guess, the baking. Yeah, it's not too dissimilar to um, a fig roll back in Ireland. And more like a, 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 ras what, what, a jammy dodger. Yeah, so this is going to be like a, stra a strawberry jam jammy dodger that we loved in Ireland. Um, there's something, if you're uh, Irish or English, uh, jam and creams, they're kind of like this, but a little bit of sprinkle of sugar on top of the cream, or on top of the, the jam. Oh, and by the way, 
America. What's up my new guy? Guys, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. I'm really, I'm, I'm really trying to make a YouTube video here. Okay, and you're not helping. Okay, uh, let's just get into it. Um, America, I believe you call jam jelly, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, we call that jam. Okay, just so you're clear. So this is like a strawberry jelly to you. Okay. Glorious. Yep, that's that's exactly what I expect to be. It's like a fig roll except strawberry. Lovely. Jelly and jam are different here. Not really. Jelly in Ireland and England is a wobbly, the wobbly stuff. I don't think you guys call it that. You guys have like a different thing. Our jelly, yeah, you call it jello. That's jelly to us. And then jam is in peanut butter and jelly. That's a jam, right? Jam, jelly, our preserves, our, okay, what, so, jelly wobbles, jam is mush. Yeah, so that, wait, 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 what, no, what's in peanut butter, wait, what? <laughs> jam is a spread, yeah, but what goes in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Is it jelly, like jello, or is it jelly, like jam? There is jelly jam and jello. Bro, this is so f***ing confusing. Why do you Americans have to be so different? Why can you not just get in line? No! Nope. God dang it! We ain't gonna do it! We want the jello and the jelly! We gonna do it! Peanut butter and jay will be jam for you. Thank you. Thank you. So I was kinda right, but probably in some way still wrong. That's how it works out here. This is our country, and we'll do as we please! Jello, jelly, get the f*** out if you don't like it! Fahrenheit, fuck you! America, bitch. Portugal. These are nice. I like them. Uh, seven. Seven out of ten with a cup of tea. Lovely. Here's another thing. Am I weird, chat? Yes or no? Let me know. Spam it. We could do a poll. No. Okay. I didn't start. I didn't start. I didn't start. You guys are already... I didn't start. You can stop now. No, guys. Wait. I didn't start. Okay. What the... F Bow chats. I didn't. I didn't say. Uh, I didn't say the thing yet. Fuck me. Okay. Can you make me a poll on both Twitch and YouTube and tell me am I weird for finding watermelon a disgusting flavor? I do not understand why there's the something. The Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, and they have like the watermelon only flavor. Is to it's vile. Do a poll and let me know, am I just a freak on my own for not understanding why watermelon is just not- I don't- I don't- uh, I, I drink watermelon and cranberry, I find that fine, but in- in jelly form, I never understood watermelon. Here we go. I'm gonna try these- these little jelly things. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Peña- Peñazitos. Malanchia. Which is watermelon. Because I speak Portuguese. That's probably pronouncing correctly. It's just not enjoyable. Mmm. I feel like this eye is gonna start, like, flickering. Now, closer than I was expecting. Twitch, 59% of you said, yes, I am weird for not liking watermelon flavor. 59%, so still, pretty close. Not that far off. Now, YouTube, I have 58%. It was 60. Some people are going over now just to make a point. Uh, YouTube chat was at uh, 60% saying, no, you're not weird for not liking it. So, interesting. Uh, what is this one? Ooh, is this passion fruit? Is this passion fruit? I love passion fruit. That looks like passion fruit to me. I think it is. I love passion fruit. Six, six, six out of ten. Six out of ten. I stuck in my teeth, and that's strawberry. Um, yeah, delightful. Uh, Portugal, great jellies, terrible crisps. That dried fruit one was awful. Fun fact: There's an old myth that drinking wine with watermelon is poisonous. It was made up to try and prevent medieval men from groping women. What? 
Interesting indeed. I think I have a drink. No, did I drink it? I'm supposed to have a drink. Maybe I got ripped off. I'm supposed to have a... That looks f***ing delicious. Pineapple? Pineapple in drink form? Oh my god, yes. That looks like Lilt, which we have back in Ireland. Watermelon flavored fizzy drinks? Ooh, fuck yes. Oh, I guess I have to upgrade for a premium one to get that. On to the Czech Republic. Okay, first up is this shit. Okay, and then I have everything I need to know. Uh, Miva... Miva Kromki! Uh, crunchy corn puffs powdered in sweet salty peanut butter. Now, Miva Kromki! Crunchy corn puffs powdered in a sweet and salty peanut butter dusting giving a burst of addictive flavor. A widely popular snack across Chechia. Okay, I can't wait for this. Just kidding. Yes, I can. Why? Why? Why do? I, why do I not get peanut butter? Why do I not understand it? Okay. Now, mind you, I could like these. So these are like, these are corn puffs, which I love. I love corn puffs. Corn. When 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 you guys told me it was wheat, the one before. Okay. Okay, the only way, and because of the size and the shape, it feels like I'm just eating fluffy peanuts. It's weird. It's actually not that bad. They're just fluffy peanuts. So you don't have that harder texture. It's just little puffs of air. Okay. This is not bad. Could I eat the entire thing? Probably not. Um, uh, this right here, I will give a 6.5 out of 10. Not bad. Uh, light and fluffy. Uh, they're corn snacks. You can't not love corn crisp snacks. Uh, and just peanut butter is not my thing. Uh, but yeah, I didn't hate it. Six and a half. Okay, what's next? I have here the... Oh, these are... Hobbs of the garlic crisps. If there's someone who loves garlic, it is Miss Vixen. I can take one of these and go up to her and ask her to taste it. And if she's streaming, which I think she is, she will. <sighs> Bro, it's just a fucking bag of garlic. All right. That's just food. Oh, that's just garlic. Get <laughs> Dracula Dracula go eat that shit. Holy fuck, dude. Oh my god, that's like some Willy Wonka magic where they're able to condense down an entire pantry of garlics into like one crisp. Jesus, the amount of flavor that came out of that one thing. Oh my god. Bro, that was a lot of garlic. Okay. Let me see if I can get Lene on my stream. Over there. Okay. Huh? I know you're not on camera. Yeah. Okay. Pleasant garlic. I want you to taste it. Okay. And tell me, I said if there's anyone that likes garlic, yeah. it's Lene Gara. Yes, it would be. So me. I came up to you. Okay. It, one of these made my head. It's a lot of garlic. Oh, give me it. Okay, give me it. <laughs> you call that a lot of garlic? Oh my. Off. Oh, take another one. This is actually really good. <laughs> you are f***ing kidding me. I love this. What? You're serious? What? Did oh, you do garlic for you? Yeah, it blew my head off. This is nice. I don't know what you're talking This is really nice. I like what it. The hey, if you're talking to uh, somebody that ate garlic cloves when I was a kid, like as a, as a snack. What did I say? It what? is garlicky. What did I say? But it's not like I could have... I could just put more, a couple more garlic cloves in there. Sprinkle some garlic salt on that. I'll, I'll eat that all day. You're fucking weird. Oh, yeah. You should follow my channel. I'm just saying, you know, if you like garlic, come on over. I also get the dogs over here, too. The, the pups hang out with me. Oh, you don't. You don't. Uh, uh, it's my garlic stuff. Okay, get rid of her before she takes all my viewers. Okay. Yeah, it ain't for me. Uh, garlic is just not for me. A lot of things are just not for me. Just keep it a simple cheese and onion, salt and vinegar. You heard me. 
Lene eats cloves of garlic. She will be opening up a garlic thing, and um, whatever the ingredients are, like two cloves of garlic, she put two into the pot and then two in her mouth and just chew on them. I just don't get it. That right there is a fucking five out of 10. Great crisp, great crisp texture, but holy garlic, Batman, that was too much for my little five-year-old child uh, appetite palate. I like chicken nuggets. Now, if there's chicken nugget flavor crisps, I'd love them. No, no, no. Everyone's got to have weird flavors. Oh, look. Look what our new flavor is. It's opium, kids. Opium flavor. Ooh, look at the opium. That looks straight. That looks like opium. If you don't know what opium is, I'm pretty sure that's where... Uh, oh, I can't say it on YouTube. Uh, it, it's where a very bad drug comes from. <laughs> Um, one that normally ends up on a rusty spoon with a lighter. Uh, what is this? V uh, next up is this Makovki. Mac uh, a bite-sized take on a classic sweet Czech uh, Czech, uh, Czech pastry. Lepauki? Le a croissant-looking bread roll dazzled in poppy seed crumbs. These Makovki crackers are studded with real poppy seeds, giving them a toasty flavor and soft crunch. Uh, these could be all right. Uh, they look like little teddy bears. Little Czech Republican teddy bears. Oh, these are just crackers. Oh, hella dry. It's those kind of crackers that just feel like they dehydrate your whole mouth. My mouth is so dehydrated. Uh, they're okay. I've never understood this whole kind of uh, cracker format. Um, opium is a sh opium. N no, you're fucking lying. Opium is not extracted from the poppy plant. Wait, what the? F you're telling me when I eat poppy seeds, I'm also w what? Poppy seeds are related to heroin? You've just blown my mind. Who knew? Poppy seeds. Wow. Where's my spoon and lighter? Moving on, thank you, uh, Czech, Czech Republic, for your uh, good use of the poppy plant for not illegal means. Uh, those look fucking. Oh, I ate them! I ate them. Those JoJo, those JoJo cactus jellies, amazing. They were f African American, amazing. They were so good. Yeah, I ate them. They're gone. Okay, next up, next up is this crap. Uh, Dubek, du, oh, Dupeki, uh, tin baked salty pretzel rings. Again, pretzels. Yeah, this is just not looking good. Um, salty pretzel rings of mustard, honey, and onion flavorings. This complimenting flavor combination pairs well with a frosty brew or a perfect vessel for your favorite cheese dip. So I wonder if a lot of these need a beer. What is this? Is this a beer? <laughs> Could you imagine they send me a beer? Uh, no, I can't drink that just yet. I normally leave that to the end, but it's just... All this stuff is so dry. There's so much dry looking... Like, it's all baked biscuity pretzel and this. It's just... All of this is to be consumed with a cold pint alongside it. This does not work just on your own. Okay. So... Um, it was what? It was onion honey. It was like a weird one I wasn't expecting. Uh, mustard. Mustard. Jesus. Mustard, honey, and onion flavored. Okay. Okay, one sec. Don't judge it. With a cold f***ing pint. Um... Uh, not bad. Uh, not bad. This could easily be an 8 out of 10 with a lovely cold Budvar. Or some other Czech Republican beer. Nice and cold with it. Let them cook with their mustard, onion, and honey. That is the black sheep of the whole thing. That was way better. I might save these and have a pint. And they probably could accompany them, accompany them very well. Not bad. I'm shocked. I'm sure I'm really shocked by that one. Can you rate it out of 10 by itself with no drink with no drink? It's a six and a half out of ten pushing on seven 
Six and a half. D humble, decent score. But it's to eat that whole bag on its own, not feasible unless you have a nice drink with it. Now, here we go. Uh, this one I can I am so not looking forward to. This just looks shit. Opavia op Bebe. Moist, chewy cereal buns packed with plump, soft-boiled blueberries. Um, it's just one. I breakfast bars. I just. It's just everything here. Just just seems so dehydrating. You know what I mean? So dry. But blueberries. You know. And it sounds. And they said it's moist, which gives me hope. Moist. I like things that are moist. Oh, smell of blueberry. Ramoons. Ramoons. Reminds me, <laughs> Ramoons, reminds me of my uh, Nutrigrain. They were like cereal bars when I was younger. And you get a chocolate one or a blueberry one. Lovely. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a seven and a half. These ain't bad. These ain't bad at all. I'm pretty sure the blueberries are kind of dried out, so they crunch quite nice. If that was in my lunchbox as a kid, I would not be disappointed. If my mom was there like, oh, he's eating something healthy, you know, er, option. That's good. Bebe. Yeah. Good job, Bebe. I like it. If you want to see me squeal, if you want to see me squeal, this is going to be the one that does it. I don't get this. I don't understand the logic behind this flavor. I don't know why people ever like this. But pistachio. Why? Why? Why Why the fuck is pistachio a thing? I, I've never understood why- What even is that? Like pistachio nuts? I- 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 Now, I'm afraid I'm gonna taste this and realize I like it. It's just everything about a green nut just- It just looks wrong. Look at the- yeah, So it's like in a corn roll and it has like green fucking goo coming out of it. We need to shut up and put this giant corn- Tube nut into your mouth like a good boy. <sighs> Holy f Holy shit. <laughs> he has awoken. Um <clears throat> Do you ever say something and then instantly regret it? Why why the fuck is pistachio a thing? Now I'm afraid I'm gonna taste this and realize I like it. Can we can we clip that whole thing? And uh let's let's just remember when Brian talked shit and and yeah, instantly regretted every single fing word he just said. Uh that was pretty goddamn fing delicious. That is very delightful. The corn tube, nice and soft. The cream is delightful on the inside. Yeah, um, that right there is an 8. I'll go like an 8.2. They're nice and light. I don't feel like a whore afterwards. An 8.2, quite delightful. The cream. It's a pistachio cream. See, I'm always afraid of like green. <laughs> Anything green because of vegetables. My, f I need to go to a psychiatrist and get trained. Get... I need to get, like, psychiatric help to, like, eat f***ing greens. I, like, suck. Yeah. That one has caught me off guard. Wow. Good job. Good job, pistachios. Keep keep doing what you do. Well done. Shout out to the pistachio community. Next one. Second last item. Sidit... Siditki... Siditki sponge cakes. Oh, I love sponge. Uh, craving a sweet crunch of deliciousness, Siditki sponge cakes are like biting into a sugary dream. I like sugar. Uh, these melt in your mouth minis. These melt in your mouth very small biscuits are a unique twist on classic sponge cake. No one clip it. No one clip it. Okay, so these are like sponge cake. What the? F is oh, what cakes are they eating? Oh, oh my god! Don't buy a birthday cake in Czech Republic. It's just dry. It tastes like fucking. 
I feel like I'm eating a wall. What's there's no sponge about that? That's a fucking that's a Wonski. That is Czech Republican Wonski. No, 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 no. That's not how you make sponge cake. That's like dehydrated out sponge cake. Oh, fuck. And what's a zebra doing on it? What the fuck is a ze what's a zebra got to do with sponge cake? What does that little shit know about making a sponge cake? Nothing. Doesn't belong on it. Yeah, that was horrible. Okay. Last thing, thankfully, uh, this was for a snack box. Oh, no, I have my drink. I forgot. I have my drink to go with my... This looks like the French teddy... Wait a second. This is the French teddy bear. This is the same fucking thing as the French one. This next one is a Brumic Strawberry, which... You remember we did the French video? It's the... And look, look at that. He's a con man, this teddy bear. He just goes around to different countries selling his product, and they slap a different name from that country onto it. This one's Brumic. So in the French one, we had this exact same guy. And am I upset about it? Not really, because he's delightful. He is delightful. Not gonna lie, this bear is very tasty. This is the exact same bear. This, these are crooks. These are crooks. Look, literally the same guy. That's there you go, lads. That's how Europe does it. But oh, it's so good. He might be a crook. But f me. What did I give this bear in that video? I'm gonna give him like an eight six. It's just quite delightful. Light. Don't feel like a whore. And then I'm gonna wash it down with this drink. 8-6 for this dirty little scam scam artist of a bear. And then this drink is oh my god, it's it's grape. Vinya white grape. Fizzy, bubbly, and sweet with a subtle hint of tartness. This white grape infused soda was invented in Czechoslovakia in 1973 and still uses real white grapes for crisp, sparkling, refreshing taste. Ladies and gentlemen, fizzy wine. White wine, Chardonnay. Me, that is nice and light. I don't mind that at all. Mm. I gave that a nine out of ten. Eight point six to nine. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. This one gets a little bit less because um I realized I was I was lied to. You know what I mean? I thought that bear was French. No, that bear is whatever country wants to pay him money. He changed his nationality. But that is a fucking lovely bear. Okay. And that's the Czech, Czech Republic, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, Czech Republic with your beautiful puppets and castles. You make some dog shit crisps. But your 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 French command bear, great. Your mustard and onion honey pretzels were quite nice. But your pistachio creamy goodness, this is mm -mm -mm, very good. And your grape wine, good. Maybe maybe you should stop investing in crisps and whatever you whatever your bakers are doing for uh, sponge cakes, stop. Immediately. Just stop. Just don't do that ever again. And work on your crisps. Crisps are not good. But cheers. Thank you for watching. Thank you, chat, for getting involved. Thank you for uh, enjoying my pronunciation of the word uh, nougat. Almost said it wrong there. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe to the X channel. Thank you very much.